Hi, today I will be doing a reading tutorial on the short story Speaking of Courage from The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. Speaking of Courage takes place after the war has ended. Norman Boker drives aimlessly through his hometown, struggling to find someone to talk to about the war. Through Norman Boker's observations, actions, and thoughts, Tim O'Brien reveals the global issue of the sense of alienation through public apathy. The specific passage I'll be focusing on today is from page 137, an observation of Norman actions while driving around the town. The chapter is written in the third person limited POV, focusing on Norman's thoughts and experiences. It brings the readers closer to the character places a distinct barrier in between. Tim O'Brien uses this to reflect Norman's relation to his hometown, which is home, yet seemingly distant at the same time. This idea of remoteness is reinforced by O'Brien's use of simile, comparing the town to a stop-motion photograph, highlighting how the town feels like a separate road, a photographic road, to the one Norman is in. O'Brien depicts the difference in reality, the town which is ignorant to the evils of war versus Norman who has experienced its cruelty. With a different reality, Norman is isolated from his home. Norman is unable to shorten the distance, the sense of isolation, as other people do not care to learn, to create a world in between or a bridge of sorts. The town could not talk and would not listen. Through parallel structure, O'Brien emphasizes on the lack of concern people have towards Norman Boker, a representative for people with war experiences, someone who carries differences from the normality found in society. Parallel structure is again used in the latter part of the passage through the repetition of did not. Reinforcing the idea that people did not want to divulge or care about those who fought in war, Subtly revealing the irony in the country's lack of care to those fighting with their lives for the country. Through the personification of the town, O'Brien gives it life, contrasting an earlier depiction of dead and lifeless found in the passage. This conveys that yes, the people were living their lives, but their lack of response to Norman's experiences and mental well-being is that of an inanimate object, indifference. O'Brien underscores how apathy to outsiders prevents them from rejoining society, forever barricading them. Through Norman's struggles and in incorporation into society, O'Brien prompts readers to reflect on how public indifference boosts and keeps people in a state of isolation from society. This is well reflected in modern society, where technology is ever-evolving at an increasing rate. Many may find themselves superfluous to the rest of society, barricaded by technological coldness, where digital communication replaces person-to-person -person interactions. Maybe the next time when you sit down for food, put the phone back in the bag and face the person you are with.